create a scatter plot and carry out some regression calculations. So we'll start in statistics and you'll notice that the uh, the data for the births and the deaths uh, for 10 similar sized suburbs in a city uh, have already been entered into the list one and list two here. So our first job is to tap on to set graph and just check that the only um, tick box here is stat graph one. Occasionally with doing regression work, you'll notice this item at the bottom gets ticked and generally it's best to untick it each time. Uh, we'll tap on into setting and just check everything's good. Now the default type of graph is scatter. If it wasn't, you can change it back to scatter from the drop down. Our X's are in list one, our Y variables are in list two, the frequency is one. We can choose whatever kind of shape mark we want, but square is fairly good. So we tap set. Uh, the next thing to get the graph is to just tap on the draw graph icon. And uh, here's our scatter plot of data. And um, it's a fairly loose arrangement, isn't it, as we look at it there now. Um, if we tap onto the trace icon here, you can see the cursor comes in on the first data point here, 7492. Maybe if I tap resize, that'll make it easier to see. It's just lifted the um, axis off the coordinates at the bottom of the screen. And as I tap right and left, um, so ClassPad jumps through the data points in the order that it found them in the list. So not in from left to right, but in the order that they're in the lists. Um, to put a regression line through our data here, we tap onto Calc and choose Regression and Linear Regression or whatever type of regression um, you think is suitable for this data. We'll choose Linear Regression here. Uh, normally this one's set perfectly. The X list is list 1, the Y's are in list 2, the frequencies are 1. Uh, we'll have a look in some later videos at um, copying the formula and the residual. For the moment we'll just tap OK and here's the equation of our regression line, the gradient 0.58 and the y-intercept 8.92. So uh, we tap OK and then ClassPad draws the regression line through the displayed data points and uh, it seems to have done a fairly good job there. Last thing we can do is again tap on the trace icon and by default it comes in on the regression line and we can trace left and right along the regression line. I'm tapping the cursor key to go right. A quicker way of doing this and a great way to do um, kind of predictions if you wanted to say we wanted to work out uh, the um, when X was 80, what Y was, then if I come and type in 80, immediately the enter value box pops up. I'll complete it to 80, tap OK and it jumps straight to 80 and here's the predicted value from the regression line. Um, if I want to trace through the points at this stage I can tap the up or down cursor arrow and that puts me back onto the points and up or down again and we're back onto the regression line. Um, when we're finished with the graph we can tap the cross in the top right corner and that resumes normal service.